In this video, I'll show you how to properly add a featured image to your WordPress website, and we'll cover it step by step so you can get up and running quickly. Hey there, I'm Christina with WP Beginner, where we teach all about WordPress so you can grow your website and reach your audience. Featured images are simply that primary image that's on most of your blog posts. So if you've added a featured image, it's usually at the top and it really changes the way your website looks. For instance, this is my site that we will be working on today. And as you see, I scroll through my posts. There are no featured images. As you see, this is a little bland and we're going to fix that right now. And make sure you stick around to the end because then I'll share with you four ways that you can get free stock images for your website. So let's dive in. Head over to our WordPress dashboard and you just need to work on the posts and add them there. So let's go to all posts. You can do this on a new post. I'm going to be fixing those three posts that we have. So I'm going to edit this one. When you go to edit over on the right, you should see the post area. If you've clicked somewhere here, then you might be in a block. So just come over to the post, scroll down and it might be hidden and it might be down here. This is featured image. It might look like this. We just want to expand it and we can just click set featured image. So if I left click, I have different choices. Now you're seeing three items up here because I have an Astra theme installed. And so they've added the free images from Pixabay. Your theme will be different, but from here you can either upload an image that you want to add to this blog post. If you already have the image in your media library, then you can simply scroll through here and find the one that you want to add. Or if you have a theme like Astra where you can aim or a free image from Pixabay, you can do that as well. I'm gonna do the media library. We'll do this one just to showcase it. And when you do that, you'll also wanna make sure that you set the alt text for this. This helps with search changes, but more importantly, it helps with accessibility on the web. When someone can't actually see the image, they're relying on a reader to tell them what it is and what it says in the alt text. Great, once you do that, let's come down here and click set featured image. And now that's on there. And what we can do is click update. And I'm just going to go ahead and do that to the other two that I have. Great. Now that I've updated the featured images on all my blog posts, I can come back over to my blog area. And once I click refresh, then now we see that I have the featured image on all of them. Now, if you want it all to look the same, then you'll want to come up with a proper image structure so that it's all uniform. But now this is my featured image. And when I click on it, depending on your theme, it should show at the top of your blog post, which is perfect. And now if you're wanting to grow your website by using sales pages or landing pages or even a squeeze page, maybe you have a webinar that you want to give, you'll want to take a look at something like Seedprod. They have hundreds of templates to choose from so you can get up and running super quickly. One of my favorites is setting up a sales page and we're done as quickly as creating and choosing the template and then making the customizations that we need specific to our sales page. To get started, just head over to seedprod.com and make sure you use promo code WPBVIP and you'll get the best discount on Seedprod. And so you know that adding featured images to your website or adding images all throughout your blog post is important, but how do you actually find reliable images that are free that you can use? Well, I showed you one way. If you have Astra installed, then you have access to Pixabay from right within your blog post. But there are a few others that I can share as well. So the first one you can look at is Shutterstock. A lot of times they'll have some free stock images that you can download. As you see down here, there's free stock images of the week. They also have some free vectors that you can use. Another good one is Unsplash. These are all royalty free that are high resolution that you can choose from here as well. Another we're going to look at is something called negative space and it's beautiful high resolution that are free stock photos. The last one is new old stock. This is a set of vintage or old images from the public archives that you can download. And now make sure you watch this video next as I walk you through how to optimize your images for the web without losing image quality. And I'll see you over there.